Now, what I want to run through in our lunchtime, well lunchtime depending on our time zone, in our session today, is the ability to clone databases. I'll go through why people clone databases very briefly, as I'm sure some of you get extremely frustrated with continuous requests from end users to clone databases, but some of you don't, in which case I may run, I'll run through some of the common reasons for cloning databases. And a very quick look at the traditional method of cloning databases, which I'm reasonably sure many of you will be doing already one way or another. But what I want to concentrate on then is a new technique for cloning databases introduced with the later releases of 11G and formally documented in 12C. Very powerful indeed, potentially very powerful. Cloning a multi-terabyte database theoretically can be done in just a couple of minutes. And with regard to stress on the hardware, it isn't really fast. It takes no disk space, or minimal disk space at least. It's easy, not prone to error. 